today, today we, will, we will talk about uh, present and future of Kotlin Wasm. My name is uh, Zalim. I've been working uh, on Kotlin in JetBrains for quite a while. Uh, I think more, more than 10 years. Uh, now, now I'm leading the team behind Kotlin Wasm to chain. So uh, I'm wondering uh, how many of you know about uh, JetBrains, heard about JetBrains before? Oh, almost everyone. Uh, so, um, okay, I, I don't need probably this slide. Uh, JetBrains uh, IDs uh, to chain at Kotlin, of course. Um, so what is Kotlin? Any idea? Hmm? Sorry? A better Java? Better Java? Uh, yeah, uh, good option. I like it. Uh, any of our ideas? Uh, actually, there is uh, Kotlin uh, Ice Hunt. Uh, there is uh, uh, Kotlin Ketchup in Poland. Uh, but today we will talk about Kotlin programming language. It's programming language developed by JetBrains. Um, it's probably best known for its built-in now safety, which uh, turns the billion dollar mistake, you know, now references uh, into uh, compile, compile time check. Uh, it's uh, statically typed language. Uh, it also uses uh, automatic uh, memory management. It manages uh, to be uh, both concise and expressive at the, at the same time. Um, Kotlin has multiple compilation targets. Uh, there is JVM, uh, native, uh, JavaScript, WebAssembly, JVM uh, backend widely used on the server side uh, and uh, on Android. For, uh, for native platforms, uh, uh, you can compile to uh, very different platforms like iOS, Linux, and so on, and you know, JavaScript and WebAssembly. It's easy. Uh, so you can share easily bit code between all these platforms. Uh, when you need, to, uh, you can uh, write uh, code specific for your platforms. Uh, in other cases, you, you just share uh, one code between uh, all platforms. I personally love how Kotlin is programmatic and also they, they is a lot of fun in Kotlin. Um, Kotlin is more than language. It's a big ecosystem, actually. Um, first of all, it is a big uh, and friendly community. There are a bunch of uh, tools like ID, build tools, uh, uh, and so on. Uh, there are libraries both developed by JetBrains and by community. Uh, there is Kotlin Foundation. Uh, providing financial support uh, to Kotlin uh, ecosystem projects. Also, the foundation controls uh, incompatibility changes in the language and preserves uh, uh, the Kotlin trademarks. A few months ago, we announced Kotlin Wasm as a new experimental target. Uh, we built the new compiler from scratch and targeting uh, the next goals. We want to have first, uh, fast compilation because we think it's important to have uh, under the second round trip uh, and to achieve that, we generate binaries directly and uh, later we're going to make it uh, incremental. Uh, we don't do much optimizations during development uh, builds, but we use Binarian uh, to optimize release builds. Yeah, we, we, we have uh, separate uh, development uh, uh, builds and separate uh, release builds. Uh, we want to have uh, a good integration with hosts, for example, to avoid leaks with uh, cross-model linkings. We think uh, having convenient and fast interop with host is essential. Uh, for example, we provide out-of-the-box declarations for many browser APIs, so you can easily uh, work with DOM API, with any browser API. Uh, and we want to have a small libraries. Uh, three kilobyte is size of uh, a WASM binary for this example. Um, modern Shiny proposals help us a lot uh, to achieve the most of uh, our goals. We are using uh, next uh, proposals. 
exception handling proposal. As you guess, uh, this proposal introduces uh, something like exceptions uh, and a way to throw and catch uh, them. Obviously, we use uh, this proposal to uh, support exceptions in Kotlin. Uh, this proposal in phase three uh, from four, but actually this uh, exception handling proposal is kind of exception for uh, WASM uh, process uh, and it's uh, uh, turned on by default in all uh, major browsers. Uh, yeah, usually uh, browsers turn on uh, proposals only on phase four, but uh, yeah, exception is exception. Uh, uh, extended name section, next one. Uh, it uh, introduces dedicated section for storing names for uh, entities uh, what could be uh, have names in text representation of WebAssembly. Uh, it helps to improve debug experience uh, to get uh, more readable stack traces, uh, to get uh, 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 to, to see a uh, name of uh, variables or vocals uh, wh while you debug. Uh, it doesn't uh, change anything in terms of semantics, uh, so it's easily turned on in all virtual machines, um, so it just works. Uh, next one is typed uh, function references. It added, added uh, better typing for uh, function references. Also, it add a uh, few no, new instructions uh, which allow to call functions uh, by reference. It is in phase three for, for, uh, from four. And last but not least is uh, garbage collection proposal. Uh, interestingly, the proposal itself doesn't uh, say much about uh, garbage collection. Uh, phase uh, I think one sentence uh, mentioning uh, garbage collection, and that's it. But uh, uh, this proposal introduces high-level concepts uh, like uh, 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 structures, fields, references, uh, uh, and so on. These uh, uh, new concepts in WebAssembly uh, is very useful for languages uh, and during times uh, with uh, GC. Uh, and proposal is uh, in, in phase three. Uh, uh, we, we use the last two proposals to map uh, Kotlin objects, uh, Kotlin object model to WebAssembly model. Uh, thanks to these uh, uh, proposals, we don't need to bring to WebAssembly own memory manager, uh, so uh, it helps uh, a lot. It's good for uh, uh, final users in terms of uh, binary size. Also, it's nice in terms of uh, runtime performance. Um, as you can see, we use some unfinished uh, proposals, uh, specifically was two. Uh, uh, so uh, these proposals uh, turned by default, turned off by default, uh, and uh, you need uh, to do some uh, specific setup uh, uh, inside your browser uh, right now uh, to use uh, Kotlin Wasm binaries. What exactly you need to do? I think Chrome has uh, the best support for Wasm GC itself so far, and also Chrome provides an uh, easier way to set up. You can open the link uh, and uh, register for origin trail uh, for Wasm GC in, inside Chrome. So you get the, uh, a token, you, uh, you use this token uh, on your site on specific page, uh, and you can turn uh, this way, you can turn on WASMGC support uh, for this specific uh, uh, page. And when user uh, come to your page with, uh, with Chrome, uh, it just work. Uh, user don't know anything what you use uh, uh, WebAssembly there, you use uh, experimental WASMGC there, it just work. It is nice. Uh, next. Uh, Next is uh, Chromium-based browsers uh, like uh, Edge, Brave, and, uh, and so on. Uh, a lot of browsers actually nowadays use uh, uh, Chromium under hood. So for these browsers, uh, users have, final users have to turn on WASMGC manually. Uh, they need to open Chrome Flux page and uh, turn on it. Uh, next is uh, Firefox. Um, 
yeah, Firefox users as well uh, have to turn, turn on WASM GC manually uh, to do that they open about config uh, page, find the uh, WASM GC and uh, turn on it. Um, yeah, right, uh, it is, uh, it's not convenient now, that's right, but uh, unfortunately it's uh, the price uh, of uh, using uh, experimental technologies. But uh, I have a great news. Uh, next week, actually, uh, on, on Tuesday, next week uh, there will be vote for moving ty typed function reference and GC proposal to phase four. So crossing fingers. Uh, after moving uh, to phase four, uh, likely all browsers uh, uh, turn on the proposal by default uh, and uh, it will be super nice. Uh, so, how to try Kotlin Wasm today? So, um, the easiest way to, to try Kotlin Wasm is uh, uh, to try it uh, in action is using our online playground. You can uh, open this, uh, this link uh, and you get an uh, uh, online editor where you can uh, compile uh, your Wasm code and write. Uh, it will be run right, right inside uh, your browser. Thanks to Origin Trail in Chrome, it works out of the box. You don't need to, to do anything, but if you use uh, other browsers, uh, you need to go uh, to uh, settings and uh, configure, uh, turn on WASMGC support. So actually, uh, it's a bit more than just playground. It's component what could be uh, embedded to you on your site for documentation, for uh, tutorials. Moreover, you can create own playground on top of this. Uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can do different things. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, as tooling company, we think it's important having great ID uh, support out of the box. So it's not only about editing code, but we believe the things like refactoring, navigation, running tests, debugging, uh, and many other things are essential um, nowadays. Uh, and uh, thanks to uh, uh, pre predefined browser APIs, uh, you get uh, code completion out of a box for Kotlin Wasm as well. Uh, it's uh, easy to discover APIs with uh, completion. Um, also, um, also it uh, uh, helps uh, uh, quickly get feedback uh, when you, for example, make a typo. Uh, you also can run the tests uh, and get results right uh, in your ID. Uh, we generate the bug information in custom name section, so you can see original function names uh, in stack traces uh, instead of function name like wasm function one, two, three. Uh, of course, there is uh, things uh, to improve. Uh, for example, in stack trace, actually there is uh, a path and uh, it's a bit strange. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have uh, a link to uh, original source and I want to be able uh, to just click uh, on this link uh, to open a uh, related uh, frag fragment of code. It is how usually it works for our languages in our IDs. Uh, so I, we want to have the same things uh, for Kotlin Wasm as well. Um, how about libraries? We, we're working uh, closely with library uh, offers uh, to get Kotlin Wasm support uh, here. Uh, and uh, yeah, here is uh, some, uh, some of them. Uh, of course, uh, there is a bunch of Kotlin X libraries developed by JetBrains. Uh, there is like uh, coroutines for I think uh, uh, things, civilization, IO, daytime. Uh, there is a library Kator. Uh, it is a library to create client server applications. Uh, OKIO, another library for IO. Corgi, multi platform game engine. Uh, Compose multi platform, Kowasm. So let's talk about Compose, uh, Compose multi platform. It is a Jetpack Compose declarative UI toolkit in Kotlin developed by Google for Android. Some time ago, 
a team in JetBrains took it and make it multi-platform, and it allow writing the, and share UI between Android, desktop, iOS, and web. And on the web, it actually uses uh, Kotlin Wasm. It's a demo, originally built for Android, uh, but uh, right now it in, run inside the browser. You can follow the link on the top and play uh, with live demo. It works smoothly uh, and show higher frame rates. Uh, so, looks good. Uh, also, you can uh, debug on top of uh, uh, so original Kotlin sources, uh, you can uh, put breakpoint, you can see call stack, uh, you can see uh, local variables, uh, you can inspect uh, uh, objects. Um, yeah, as you can see, many things already works uh, in terms of debugging, uh, but there is uh, some room for improvements. Uh, specifically, we are working on improving stepping over lines while debugging. Uh, right now, uh, it shows objects uh, as, a, as a WASM structures. Uh, we want to have a more readable uh, representation by default, like showing uh, uh, text uh, for, for strings uh, instead of uh, internal uh, structure with array of bytes uh, or uh, we want to have better representation for collections like list or maps. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, next thing, what we call, we want to improve is uh, uh, inspection call stack. Uh, we want to have uh, better names. Uh, there is the idea to have uh, some uh, filtering, uh, uh, hiding internal decorations. Uh, uh, what if we had a Compose support in, uh, inside uh, our playground? So you can easily prototype and share Compose UI right in, inside your browser. Uh, that sounds nice, isn't it? Uh, maybe someday we will do it. Uh, no promise. But uh, I like this uh, idea, actually. Uh, so... Uh, what about bind of web browsers? Uh, WebAssembly is great technology and it's not limited by browsers, you know. Uh, use cases uh, uh, for uh, outside of browser, there's a lot of use cases, there's a lot of projects uh, trying using WebAssembly outside of browsers and uh, we actually think it, ha it has a big uh, potential uh, on server side specifically. Uh, with, uh, for example, with Lambda-like cases, uh, kind of workers, edge computing, uh, and so on. So uh, it seems to me like Wasm is rarely used outside of browser without WASM. Uh, starting from uh, 1.9.20, we will provide uh, a built-in support for WASM. Uh, right now we are using uh, WASM Preview 1. Uh, uh, yeah, I remind you uh, what uh, we depends on GC and exception handling support uh, in VMs. So you can run right now uh, this code inside Node.js and Dana, but uh, standalone VMs like Wasm Edge, Wasm Time, and Vamor uh, are working on GC support as well. Stay tuned. Uh, so as uh, next steps for, for WASI things, we are going to switch to uh, preview two and working on component model. Um, our, uh, our super early adopter, Sebastian Delos, started experimenting with uh, Kotlin WASM outside of browser even before WASI support uh, come. Uh, and he started uh, uh, this project, Coasm, is a side project. The goal of uh, the project uh, is exploring server-side and full-stack development capabilities with Kotlin uh, and WebAssembly. Uh, combined with ca capability-based security and microseconds in instantiation uh, time, it's uh, going to be a game-changer, I think. Uh, so, uh, 
give Kotlin Wasm a try, go to Koto in slash Wasm. Uh, you can uh, find the uh, required references, uh, links, uh, and so on. Uh, you can find me in social networks uh, by my last name. Uh, don't hesitate to ask me anything about both uh, Kotlin and WebAssembly together, Kotlin Wasm, or separately if you're trying to implement uh, something uh, uh, for WebAssembly, Wasm GC. Uh, I'm happy to, to help. Uh, at the end of session, feel free to come here and grab uh, some stickers or pins with uh, Cody. Uh, and uh, that's it. Thank you for your time. Uh, now I'm happy to, to answer questions. We have a uh, few uh, times, I think 10, 10 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Any question? Um, yeah. What is the state of uh, WASMGC in Safari? Uh, there is some work in uh, JavaScript core is uh, engine inside Safari. There is some work on WASMGC. Uh, many things already done. I think uh, kind of 80% uh, of uh, tasks is done. Uh, there is some bugs yet. Uh, if we speak about uh, running uh, Kotlin Wasm inside uh, JavaScript core, I try it time to time. Every time we close, closer and closer uh, to finish. I hope in a uh, few months uh, we will get uh, full, full support uh, uh, in Safari as well, uh, specific in JavaScript core. I don't know. Uh, I don't have any insight about it. I just uh, working on a uh, fair uh, issue tracker and commits in a repository. Uh, it's everything open. So uh, in my understanding, in few months, we get uh, uh, some full support in JS core. Uh, there is question when this JS core come to Safari. I don't know. Yeah, uh, question is, is uh, it uh, compilation from source code or uh, from bytecode to WebAssembly? Uh, in Kotlin, uh, for all backends we have, we compile from, uh, from sources and from our uh, uh, special uh, library format, klibs. We don't compile uh, Java bytecode to WebAssembly. It is uh, two options, uh, Kotlin sources or uh, klibs. It's a format of libraries. Uh, so every backend, including Kotlin Wasm, uh, uh, yeah, uh, going this way. Uh, could you repeat? Um, yeah, um, the question is, uh, uh, if I uh, take some uh, jar libraries, uh, put it to my Kotlin project, uh, can I compile it uh, to WebAssembly? Uh, yeah, um, the short answer is no. Uh, with this technology, no, because um, if you want to target uh, JVM, uh, you can take uh, JVM libraries and JVM library jars and uh, compile uh, it to JVM. Uh, if you want to compile to WebAssembly with Kotlin Wasm, with Kotlin multi-platform, you need to library specifically developed for, for this purpose uh, with uh, Kotlin multi-platform support, uh, with support uh, uh, required targets. It is how uh, it works uh, in this case. There is another um, compiler, uh, another two chains, what takes uh, Java bytecode and able to compile um, to WebAssembly. Uh, as I know, most of them uh, don't use WasmGC. They just targeting Wasm core. It is it has uh, own advantages and disadvantages. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, 
another project uh, developed by Google uh, J2CL, uh, but uh, again, it, this compiler is from Java sources to WebAssembly. Any other questions? One, two, please. Uh, what last part could you repeat? Um, okay, uh, it's a question about uh, experience of uh, using Quasm GC and uh, suggestions uh, to other languages. Uh, it's uh, yeah, very uh, wide, wide question. Um, um, in, terms of in terms of experience, uh, I'd say it's uh, uh, quite well. Uh, it, it's good. Uh, there is. Uh, uh, some things what uh, uh, work not so uh, great. Uh, uh, I mean, there is, uh, uh, right now there is structure typing uh, inside, uh, uh, so you can't uh, do easily uh, separate compilation. Uh, uh, in terms of suggestions, uh, I, I know. Uh, I need to think about it uh, a bit more. Yes, the sim simplest way is uh, actually uh, taking uh, languages already compiled uh, to WebAssembly using uh, WasmGC, for example, Kotlin, Java, uh, Dart, uh, and uh, working on feature by feature, uh, like uh, how if you, your language has uh, uh, virtual dispatch, uh, just look uh, how uh, these languages uh, implement it. Uh, you, you can get uh, some insights uh, there. Uh, probably it's uh, uh, the best uh, direction, the best way uh, to implement these uh, things. Uh, we actually, uh, yeah, uh, speaking about virtual calls, we tried uh, different ways uh, to implement it. And, uh, uh, and finally, we uh, use uh, uh, for virtual methods uh, structure uh, structures so with immutable states uh, um, for for interfaces uh, we we have uh, uh, two two wire for example uh, for first wire we have uh, uh, structure with uh, uh, micro virtual tables for each interfaces uh, so you first uh, go to uh, this structure with uh, 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 links to uh, an overview table. Uh, uh, anything else? <laughs> um, okay, thank you everyone. Uh,